Hello and welcome back, it's been a while. There is so much going on right now in my home observatory, if you may call it that way. I'm still getting into working with the ZWO ASI 1600 MCC camera while I bought several new telescopes. At the moment I'm getting my first Ritchie Kritia telescope ready and for plug and play sessions I purchased an Imaging Star 70 apochromatic flat field refractor. The tests with both instruments eat up almost all of my observing time right now. But I will make videos for both telescopes in the future. This video is all about my latest sessions with my new camera in combination with my biggest telescope, the GSO 8 inch Newton. In a beautiful clear night in April, I set up my AVX and GSO Newton early in the evening so that it had enough time to cool down. Especially if I want to take photos of galaxies, that's important because I hate it if the focus changes often. This was the first deep sky night with the ZWO camera in combination with the Newton, so I couldn't resist to take images of more than one object. Dump, but I had to, maybe you know this. My shots of M97 and M63 were quite okay in relation to their short exposure times, but I collected almost two hours of light of M64, well known as the Black Eye Galaxy. The galaxy is 17 million light years away in the constellation of Coma Berenicus. It is really dense and shows interesting structures, so I love Hubble's popular image of it. I was of course interested in comparing it with my image, here it is, the Hubble vs 8 inch Newton comparison. I really love taking photos of small DSO objects. That's why I'm busy in learning how to use RC telescopes at the moment. I purchased a 6 inch RC to find out whether I can handle that kind of telescopes. I'm familiar with Newtons but always read how difficult it should be to collimate RCs. I'm not really sure whether I made that right so far but I need more clear nights to find out whether the big stars in this test image of M57 are a result of the high focal length, bad guiding, bad seeing or simply bad collimation. We'll see. If you like my comparison of M64 by Hubble and me, please give it a like and I'd be really happy if you press the subscribe button so I can update you about my upcoming results with the Imaging Star Refractor, the RC and my newest friend in my collection, the Meet LX90 10-inch SC. I'm sure the planetary season with my SCs will be awesome. 